That's right, Olivia. And America also has its fair share of domestic issues. For more on this subject, we send it to Angel Mendez. Angel? Yeah, guys, it dates back to the start of the nation, the right to bear arms. But in light of recent mass shootings at malls, a movie theater, colleges, and even in elementary school, some are starting to question the freedom guaranteed by that Second Amendment. I talked with Head of Security Tony Coleman about the issue and what gun rights students have on Stevens campus, if any at all. So I know that there's, there's actually students out there that, that have those type of permits. Missouri is just one of 21 states with concealed carry weapon laws that ban carrying those same licensed weapons on college campuses. 23 other states allow their colleges to make the decision themselves. Other states like Utah prohibit the ban on concealed carry weapons, while Wisconsin allows them on campus, but only where signage specifically banning the guns is not present. While state law mandates the ban of these guns on, these, on Stevens campus, a lot of students said if they saw signs on the outside of each door or every entrance, they would be more aware of the law. But Coleman told me there's a specific reason why not having the signs is just as crucial as keeping the guns off of campus. You know, when they see a sign that says no weapons, then, you know, to a potential threat, to a potential gunman, then that's advertisement that they won't be faced with any, with any resistance, if you will. While Coleman told me there have not been any issues involving concealed carry weapons on campus, a survey I conducted through Facebook polling Stevens students indicated a high percentage of gun ownership. Out of 22 responses, eight students said they did own a gun. When asked where they stored that gun, nine of them said in their hometown, and two of those same respondents said they also store it in their purse or backpack. The reasons behind owning a gun range from personal protection to hunting and shooting recreation. Despite the number of women that said they did own a gun, only three respondents said they were aware of and followed a campus gun policy. Do you think not having those signs has kind of made students unaware of whether they not whether or not they can carry guns on campus? Well, it's a, they it's, do have a concealed and carry license. It's a possibility, but it's also one of those things that is, is clearly outlined in, a, in the student handbook. If you know, if they need a reference to, to go to. In an effort to increase awareness, Coleman said the security staff hosted numerous active shooter training sessions for faculty, staff, and students in February. Those sessions provided information about what to do in campus shooting situations. He estimated more than 200 people attended the sessions. If you want to take Coleman's advice and see the exact wording of the campus handbook, we posted a link on our website at stevens.edu slash stevenslife. Back to you guys. Thanks, Angel, for that important report.